welcome back to another lap go video my name is bart and today we'll be taking the f4 car around the alton park international circuit let's get to the hot lap Okay, so heading to the first corner now at Alton on the international sort of full course today. Uh, turn one, uh, old hall, quickie corner, quite high speed. Now the first thing I'd say here is you've got to look a long way before the corner. You're going to be looking at this barrier, looking in over here, at this part of the corner, because this apex is kind of blind, and get into this little rut. So you'll see on the entry, there is this little bit of dirt. You can actually cut inside this. Um, if you go any higher, there's like this tall part of the grass, you don't really want to hit that. Um, but we do want to get all the way into this inside curb. Also make sure you're in line with this part of the entry on the white line. It's not actually straight. If you look at the straight, you're not going in a straight line. So you actually come out a little bit to the right hand side and move over to the left, get parallel with the white line, then turn in soft break. It's all about how much speed can I roll to this apex point and then quite quickly get on full throttle. In terms of track limits, if you can keep your right tyres on the red and white, you'll be okay. The runoff is pretty grippy on iRacing, um, so use as much of it as you can. Uh, just watch out for off-tracks, really easy to get there. So going to turn two now, Cascades, another high-speed corner, all about minimum speed. So, and that minimum speed will kind of carry you through the exit in a low-powered car like the F4 car. Uh, so if this coin, once again, get over to the right nice and early, using all the track. It's a corner where if people are a bit lazy, they can often drop a wheel on the right hand side that's generally because you're too late okay so get through the kink and just get over to the white line nice and early before you hit the braking so we're not thinking about positioning and stuff and look into the apex please nice and early at a long way around the corner so we want to be looking well i'd say around here-ish about this far in into the camber down to fourth gear here uh should meet the inside white line potentially the curb and when you get on throttle here fast okay car's going to want to understeer especially on the fixed setup get on quickly um, that way you're not going to induce much understeer in the cars. So you're not going to have the front pushing through the corner. Um, and it will be a fast for you there. So yeah, carrying the speed is always good. Um, and then on the exit, in terms of track limits, we can kind of just run the right tires on the red and white. If you run more than this, it's quite easy to get off track. Uh, so be careful. They're one of the easiest places on iRacing to get off track. So keep that in mind. Okay, turn three island. Not much for you Turn in flat, uh, you turn in one is basically just before the exit of this uh, cut through for the, uh, the island circuit. Uh, you want to meet the white line at the end of the curb, just about there. Be quite smooth, there is a bump, but just be smooth. It's more about positioning. So if you turn in too early for island, or you put too much steering lock on and scrub the tire, you'll end up probably understeering and putting yourself too wide for the entry for shell oils. So just make sure you bring yourself... You, you don't um, turn in too early, so you can bring yourself all the way back to the left-hand side of the track. Here. So then braking, as you hit this bump, it's very tricky. So the braking for this corner, um, you, you're compromised because of you're coming through, uh, you're laterally loaded, through, so you're steering through island. 
Uh, you've also got this bump as you hit the brake, uh, which is just back here. Um, and it's just a tricky corner in general with the banking. So my best advice for this is with this car, you'll find, and I've spoken about this before on previous lap guides, it doesn't do combined entry. So it doesn't brake and steer very well. It doesn't grip very well in that phase of the corner. So when you're hitting the brake pedal, if you're going to hit a lot of pressure, you're going to be dead straight on the wheel. Dead straight. There's no ABS. It'll lock up and it'll just run deep and you'll never be able to recover the car. Okay, you might not go off, but you're going to lose a lot of lap time. So you've got to think about it and just make sure you're keeping the wheel dead straight when you use the brake pressure in terms of hitting a lot. So you can see here, I hit like 80, 90%. I come off a little bit for the bump. Um, if you look at the bottom left-hand side, left hand side corner of the screen, I come off for the bump, get back on, down to third gear. Uh, keep the car nice and tight to the curving. Uh, but yeah, the main thing is that brake. As soon as you start turning, you're going to clear the brake. Brake fast. You roll to the bank, you carry the speed in. Get in tight to the inside. Use the camera the corner, third gear, and then very aggressive throttle pickup. Uh, pretty much as soon as you can start to uh, rotate the car around towards the end of the curving here. Okay, here, just leave the car left inside the track and bring it over to the right slowly. Position ourselves for the uh, first chicane here. We're going to use all the left hand curving, big curb, get it straight again for the right. Use all the right hand curb up to the tire bundles pretty much. The car will take the curving. I might bump around a little bit, but it's definitely worth the advantage just of the extra track usage here. Uh, you'll start braking on the right-hand side of the track, um, down to third gear eventually, so brake down to fourth, come off the brake a little bit as you go over the curb, and as you land again, you can hit the brake again, just help the car turn in. Very early and aggressive throttle pickup on this uh, right-hand curb here. Uh, hitting this right-hand curb also helps turn the car as well, so just, it's all about just getting it straight and preparing the car for that exit. Nice early throttle pickup. Don't run on the grass on the left-hand side there. Not only does it slow you down, but it's very easy to get off track there. Um, but main thing is just prepare the car by uh, bringing it all the way over to the left-hand side and that nice early throttle pickup hook in on the right-hand side curve. So now to the second chicane, the Nickelbrook chicane. Uh, trickiest part of the track in my opinion. So through here, we want to have our slowest speed in the left-hand part of the track. So in this corner over here, this is our slowest point. This is what we want you to think about. So the first part's about carrying speed in. And the third part is about our exit. So that makes the, the this middle, this left-hand part of the corner really the slowest point where you need to keep the car tight and get it slowed down for. Um, people often overslow the first part here, but really we just need to commit on the entry and carry some speed. So you can see braking just before the 50 meter board. And again, very hard braking like we talked about at uh, the Shell Oils. So you need to have a high brake pressure initially, basically 100%. You'll bleed out quickly as soon as you start inducing some steering lock on the car. Get all the way up to the tire bundle, come out of the brakes, then get back again the straight line down to second gear. I find all the fixed setup is better just because of the understeer and it just gives you a little bit more acceleration out of the corner. Uh, you can see our foot speed is quite quick through here. So you always have to be looking ahead, look for the right apex, look for the left one, and look next to the tire bundles. Don't look at them, otherwise, you will drive into them, okay? So that's a little free tip. Uh, make sure your eyes are looking just about here, okay? And then you look over to this one over here nice and early down to second gear, get the car tucked in on the curb, early throttle pickup, bring it back. You should be able to get back to the left-hand side of the track here. If you're, you're going too wide, if you can't get it back um, in time, so you need to get back in time, so then we can reach the left-hand side of the track and turn in for this uh, final right-hand part of the corner. And with this as well, you should have to do a little bit of a lift on the entry. You see how I do like about half a lift. If you try to take it flat, you'll just lose the rail. You'll just push straight into understeer. Um, also an exit, the car wants to push a lot in front, so you, um, you're scrubbing the front tires, getting quite a bit of understeer. The best way to avoid that, like I said, is just have a little bit more of a lift and get over the inside curb on the right-hand side. A um, little bit of a lift, and just focus on your exit here. That's the last thing. Just It's an exit-focused corner, so focus on that. You won't get off track as long as you don't drive any more than that. You can run a little bit wider on that AstroTurf area, um, but you will get off track, so you can only just about put the left-hand side tires off the red and white curbing. So now, up the hill now, into Druids. Quick corner, probably the scariest corner in real life. Uh, really soft brake here. Two main things. Uh, soft and straight, if possible, pretty much, because we just want to carry momentum, like I said, in the first two corners with this car. The other part is, it needs to be soft as possible brake, while getting the car turned, obviously, because if you just drive the track. Um, everything has to done, be done on the earlier side here. If you're braking late, if you're carrying a much if you turn in too late, 
you just get punished in this car through this corner. Um, it's not like some of the GT cars where you'll be, you know, having your slowest point or say apexing like here or here or somewhere. You really, yes, I run past the white line there, but this is what you got to think of as your slowest point, as, as your apex point, um, if that's what you prefer to use to turn on your So it's just at the start of this curving on the right-hand side, you should be slowest point about now, and then getting on the throttle, as you can see here, and that's key for exit as well as carrying speed. So if we start doing that by getting up to the left-hand side, use all the track on the entry, and look really early to meet the inside curb there. Don't hit it, um, but get right up next to it on the black line. Um, fifth gear, holding fifth gear is definitely quick gear. Um, and then a nice quick throttle pick up. Smooth on the steering, try to reduce the steering lock as much as possible without going off the track. It's a run on the edge there, so we're trying to get the steering out. Help us on the exit to just release the car, a bit like a go-kart in some ways. Uh, and then to the last corner, Lodge. Quickly corner this, so. Uh, braking, no real braking reference, so it's quite tricky and good for you know people who aren't really using a, a set hard reference. Uh, all you really have is this turning board and the marshal's hut. You're braking between those two points. So you're braking quite a bit after that and usually just before, you can see right in the middle, let's say, between the marshal's hut and the turning board here. Um, it's a very hard brake initially. You can see 100% pressure, but with the, as it undulates quite a bit, you can't sustain that. You can't have to come off the brake a bit and just control it as you go over these bumps here. Um, and then turning quite early. You got to turn it quite early here. Meet the white line, or meet. You want to meet the inside of the curb right at the end of the curb, which is what makes it a little bit weird. Basically, where this, uh, you'll see this services road on the right hand side. So you can see here this little cut through bit. This is when you want to meet the inside curbing, right? This bit here. Perfect. So the reason we want to do that is because if you don't, if you meet it earlier, which is usually what most people do, is they they maybe break similar point to me, maybe slightly earlier. They slow the car down a bit earlier in the corner. Um, then you just get this understeer because you get on throttle, you go over the hill, it picks up the front and you just get the front tires lift, you understeer and then you get this snap of oversteer or you run into the grass and we don't really want that, right? Because that gives us a really bad exit and we lose a lot of time. So the way to avoid that, like I said, is focus on meeting the inside there um, where that cut through is um, and try and carry speed. So we're not turning in late here. So, so you can see I'm not turning late off the white line necessarily. It's more the fact that I roll lots of speed up the hill and the hill is going to slow you down. So turn in like you're going to make the inside and the, and the speed you carry will delay the point at which you reach um, or get onto the inside curbing. That's the way I like to think about it anyway. Um, so carry the speed up the hill and as soon as you reach that point, you should be able to just plant the throttle. It should be a quick throttle pickup because again, you're kind of afraid of um, understeer here. There's a little bit of modulation just going over the hill. Get the steering off on the exit and then you've got the shortest run to the line and that's allowed for long. So that brings us towards the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also find the Coach Dave Academy Discord in the YouTube video description. My name's Bar, and I'll see you next week. See ya.